Hey business students, if you're new to the channel, a huge welcome and if you're returning, I'm so glad to have you back. This video is the fourth in the series of how to answer at Excel A-level business exam questions. I'll put the link in the description box for the 4, 8 and 10 marker. Being able to answer exam questions is a crucial skill that you need to master in order to be successful in your exams. The 12 mark question appears twice in all three papers, so it's important to know how to answer them and to be able to maximise marks. This video will go through the structure of a 12 marker, let you know what's required, and I'll also go through a past paper question and an answer with you. And at the end, I will give you some tips from examiner reports. There are two 12 markers in each paper, paper one, two, and three. So it's important that you're proficient in answering them. They tend to start with the command word assess, assess the usefulness, assess the likely impact, assess the consequences. This means that your answer needs to look at both sides. It needs to show a counterbalance. You might do this by referring to limitations and drawbacks, and you could introduce this by using words such as however, or on the other hand, or in contrast to. It is very important that you apply your answer to the case study. For your 12 marker, you need to include a final judgment. That's in your final paragraph at the end. It should be a supported final judgment. And you should spend around 14 minutes on this 12 marker. Time might be quite tight. However, the more you practice, the more you will be able to manage your time. For the 12 mark question, you are awarded marks for the following. Two marks for knowledge and understanding. Two marks for application. Four marks for analysis. And four marks for evaluation. Now, application, analysis and evaluation are higher order skills. If you do need support in terms of being able to master those, then do check out these videos. I will put the links to them in the description box. Let's take a look at a 12 mark question and answer. And the 12 mark question reads as follows. Assess the likely effects for AG Bar of taking over Funkin, the cocktail mixer business. First thing we do is read the question before we go to the case study. Here is a case study. So you can give it a read through, you can pause the video if you'd like to. I will underline some areas that I will be using for application. So it's important that we gain those application marks. So these are just some areas that you might use in order to gain application. Let's take a look at my answer. For your 12 mark question, you need after your definition, two paragraphs and then a final judgment. Your first paragraph after your definition should start off perhaps by using the wording in the question. Then you would explain it and evaluate that point. Same for the second. Let's make a start. A takeover is where one business would buy a majority of the shareholding in another business and obtains full management control. One likely effect for AG Bar of taking over Funkin is that the soft drinks company will now be able to diversify into a new industry. This is beneficial because AG Bar would now have access to the cocktail mixer industry, which has growth opportunities they're able to take advantage of. This means that AG Bar would now have the ability to increase brand awareness in new markets with a high growth brand and could increase sales revenue. Therefore, if there was a decline in the soft drinks market, then Funkin would not be so reliant on the profit from that area, as they have become established in the cocktail mix industry as well. However, the cost of the takeover deal might rise to as much as £21 million. This money could have been better spent on advertising the AG Bar soft drinks. Now let's get on to our second paragraph. Another likely effect for AG Bar of taking over Funkin is that they will be able to benefit from potential economies of scale. With AG Bar using its own distribution network and production facilities for Funkin, this would lead to increased efficiency of producing soft drinks and cocktail mixers. This would lead to reduced unit costs of the beverages for AG Bar. This means that AG Bar would have increased profits which they could use to reinvest back into the business. On the other hand, diseconomies of a scale may occur 
in the form of a clash of corporate culture. With the two companies coming together and sharing production facilities, this may cause issues as AG Bar may have their own way of working, which might be different to Funkin. This may have a negative impact on the overall productivity of the workers. You can see here that there's a good degree of analysis, a chain of analysis using terms such as this would lead to, this means that. And also we've signposted our evaluation by using words such as on the other hand and in the first paragraph, however. Let's move on to our final judgment. For the final judgment, I've taken a stance that it's risky for them to be taken over Funkin. However, you might state that it's not risky and that's perfectly fine as long as you're able to justify it and make sure that you have a fully supported final judgment. Overall, the likely effects for AG Bar is risky as AG Bar do not have the expertise of the cocktail mixer business. Therefore, there is a risk of them failing and losing at least £21 million. However, it depends on the degree of differences in regards to the two markets and how quickly AG Bar can adapt. In the short term, it will take AG Bar some time to understand the new market. In the long term, this takeover may also bring additional strain on AG Bar as they'll be focusing on recouping the initial £21 million spent and competing with experienced rivals in the industry. Here are two tips from examiner reports on how to excel when answering the 12 marker. The first tip, remember that consequences and also impacts can be both positive and negative for a business. You should aim for your final judgment or your conclusion to be of a few sentences only, but one which attempts to answer the question using the extracts to support your judgment. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your studies with your studies.